Hello and welcome back to Mr. Markup Studio 001's video about how to make a game in PowerPoint and just like and this and this is part three of the tutorial and right now we're up to um making the first level. I made something like this to so when you press shift F5 and then you have to try and make sure you don't touch it and if you do touch it oh no you died to play again since uh oh I touched it even though I don't remember and then like that oh I hate when I have to do that this will take me forever but you get the idea unfortunately you can actually do it to you so ok yes but people can just do that but we're gonna make an option where you can't do that first Yes, I can do this, so if I can, then anyone else can. So, we're going to make some sort of um, thing, so like duplicate. So, if they touch this, so I can move to, no, not I can move, action, mouse over to slide 12. So, when they hover over it, or turn something like red. And then it'll fade automatically to blue to warn you that you can't touch it. So, like, quickly turn into red. And then it'll just automatically fade back. Look, so shift F5. Mm. After, yes, yeah, something like that. So, like that. Mm, you know, you get the idea. Maybe, actually no. Maybe I'll just do the same. First, I'll just want to do that. So, maybe, I mean, was thinking like some sort of thing like a blocking thing. And then maybe like some sort of stone or something that's big and can block your way. And uh, you need maybe some sort of key to open or something. So here I'll make a key. It's a little hard to make, but it doesn't matter. So maybe a rectangle here, and then maybe like two more here, and maybe here, like just a little shorter, make it have no background maybe. And then make a few orange except for this. Put some orange there. Make this a little longer. To make it look like a key. Hover it over, group it, shadow to there, and then shadow to here. To make it look like a key. Maybe I don't need that to see. Then you press shift and resize it. 
here I'll delete that and change that to this to make it easier so then when the person gets this I'll delete some of this it will be too hard so like yeah, maybe you will left here so level one Let's see how I think about the interaction now. So then, anyway, let's do this. I'll just go to here, and then you just get that and you open that to make that happen. Press that now. You want to hover over it and then you want to make like some sort of invisible rectangle. If you're using Microsoft 2007, you have to actually use and click on hyperlink on each section of it because if you're on um. If there's an invisible box in front of it with a hyperlink to slide 12, which is this, um, it won't basically find it. And yeah, something like uh, um, shrink, whatever animation you want. I was about to do this. So, actually, fade. After get that, maybe a little quicker. Probably make that a little like more huge. So like yes. So we press Shift F five. Click on it. Wow. And then you'll say something like. And then. Just delete that because you already got go to slide 12, make the transition to that to after zero seconds or right after it finishes and then make this thing probably disappear so we should um fade so it will just fade but while it's doing that this and this is basically rumbling as if yeah. no doesn't matter so it just fade. So then you'll look like click on it, and then you'll fade, and then you're free. And then duplicate it. Delete that because you don't need. Maybe you can make some sort of little thing saying one key. This part may be a little too hard for you to understand, but you'll get me. You obtained one key. No, we should go like so. Like you obtained a key. Then you can do the next part. So like maybe a chest.
and then Slug The shadow as if it's so. Do whatever texture or something you want. Something like that. This is basically a very basic game. So I'm going to shift the file like that. So basically. So the he obtained the key. Use it to open the chest. Mm, the chest should be there. People will be like wondering why is there just the level one? The you obtain the key, use it to open the chest. No, no not fading. And then when you click on it, it should so. see. So then you make it go away. Welcome up. So look like this. This is when the object of work is clicked onto the chest. Well, the mouse is clicked on the chest. So, hyperlink to 15. You should now know what hyperlink is, so yeah. And then, this should fade. And, you can use the animation painter to do this. So, let's see what we've got. Yes. So So click that Yes I'm pray you obtain the key use it to open the chest <laughs> click on that and then you will just and then something like Maybe this thing will come up. I'm not saying you have to delete these because when you go to the next slide, they wouldn't be there. So something like so maybe maybe why then. Very black father, <coughs> and then you say, you <coughs> congratulations. You got a key. No. You got a. Just you can you 
opened the chest. You can now commence to the second level. I'm so impressed. Congratulations, you opened the chest. You can now work and just make a delighted lots in like 10 seconds. Congratulations, you got all you. You opened the chest. Congratulations, you opened the chest. You can now commence to the second level. Mm, you fade somehow. Yes. Just make a like A, and then the next level, the uh, next part, I will now show you how to do the next level, and I'll do a little bit more of the first level, and then and then we're going to be done. So. So thank you for watching part 3 of my series of how to make a powerpoint game and right now see you later next time I'll see you.